Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to Christmas in July. We are working on sketch number 31 again today. Oops. Let's see here. Trying to, okay. These are the pieces that I need to start with. I have kind of an idea of what I want to try today. So that was yesterday's. So I'm kind of thinking, how fun would it be to use a tag, like one of my large tags as the center, and see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> Let's see. So I guess I should probably choose my tag first and then decide on color schemes. Okay, so I want to use a pretty large tag. Let's see here. What kinds do we have? We've got our mystical unicorn. <laughs> uh, he's not quite right. Alright, I think that's all of the large tags, large horizontal tags that I have. <laughs> All those jingle girls. <laughs> All right, so we've got. Oh, that's kind of cute. I mean, that's pretty cool too. And they these all have their sentiments, so I don't need to even add sentiments. Which this sketch really, it, you don't really need to add a sentiment if you have a. Uh, either like an image with a sentiment or even just like a, an image that you'd want to really stand out. Oh, I can't decide. <sighs> this is too hard. Let's see. You know, I kind of think I want to... Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to use this fabric on one of them. But none of these really, I mean, that one kind of goes. So I think we're going to X now in the fabric A today. What kind of, unless I did, well, I was going to say, unless I did a little square up here, but again, none of these really go with that fabric. Um. see like I could have done that as my element but none of these really well maybe I'll save that to go with the buffalo check that will look cool I want like eh, something glittery maybe because all of these do have glitter something funky oh we've got this little oh that's kind of cute with that blue He's not that large of a an element, but he's cute. <laughs> and that light blue. Hmm. I think we're gonna end up going with either of those, and maybe that star. No, not star. Snowflake. Ooh, and I could use that. As the background. It's not very large, but okay, okay. I think we're coming together. <laughs> I think we're gonna end up going with this. Oh, I could do I think I'd like just the just the little guy. I think he's a little bit overtaken, but he's also pretty darn cute. Okay. I think our I 
think we are decided. <laughs> so now we need to find some papers to go along with up top. I'm thinking some sparkles. Let's see here. Actually, is this cut to size? I think so. I think I'm going to do that chevron. What else do we have in that kind of color scheme? Glitter. <laughs> That's essentially what it is, right? Unless I did two, I could do that, but who knows? <laughs> uh, I could do two of those chevrons. That would be actually probably gorgeous. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Okay, so let's grab two of those. And we need our cutting board. Cut this down to two inches. Because that gets us. Uh, one and a half? No, yeah, one and a half by two and a half. <laughs> Actually, it might work out. What if I did this size? Ooh, okay, never mind. That like takes up the whole section. <laughs> I don't want to do that. And then I put the blue polka dot. Oh, eh. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I feel like the blue polka dot is just doesn't quite go. Let's see. Got my other bin thingy case. I could do the dark. I'm sure the polka dot might work. Kind of do the opposite. Oh no, yeah, I don't have any extra of that. I don't have any of that. Oh no, it looks like it might have to be the <laughs> polka dot. Let's see here. I feel like that's too bland. Oh no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it just isn't quite working. gray. No, I need like another color. Oops, I didn't mean to bump you. I need another color back there. Probably don't want to do green. I would do blue probably. So let me see. Oh, I should put these in here. Do I have any blue? extra pieces of paper. I've got that plaid. I've got that. Sure the snowflakes might look okay. Kind of looking for some scraps that I can use. Mm, don't think I'm gonna find any. <laughs> Let's 
screen. Okay. Let's do. I'm trying to think in this snowflake. So we need one and a half by two and a half. Oops. One and a half by two and a half. Cute little square. <laughs> I mean, it's better. <laughs> it still isn't quite there, though. Let's try this one. Luckily, this size is pretty good for other things, so cutting this these small pieces it's not too bad what if I did one sparkle right in the center these two on the sides How does that look? Ooh, okay. I think I'm I'm actually okay with that. And then the little boomity boom. I think so. And then I do not want that red on there. I don't have any blue like that blue tiny ribbon, so that wouldn't even really work out. I'll cut this off. Boom bitty boom. <laughs> All right. ETG. I'm glad we were able to make it work. Because in my head it was like super cute. I should have done the, this strip first just so I knew where it should line up. Especially with it not being the same size as the actual sketch. Oh no. Okay. Um. <laughs> I think it'll be fine though. Look how big that tag is. It'll be fine. Okay. I think I'm going to put the tag on with hot glue. Since it's got a little bit of dimension to it, just ensure it it's safety. And then take our little snowflake guy. And boom. I feel like if I had some more of that blue any of these shades of blue, I'd probably do either some bling up in the corner, actually probably this corner, or I would even do a strip of ribbon along here with the snowflake on top of that. I don't think I've ever seen ribbon, like this kind of ribbon, in blue. Now that I think about it, like this shade of blue. I think that's a very hard color to find 
That's what I'm thinking. But that is so darn cute. Oh my gosh. I love that. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Well, I made it. Today is Christmas in July. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good, crazy, not bad, crazy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.